Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you stopping by. In today's video, I wanted to answer a question I get a lot on this YouTube channel. Um, it's actually kind of a group of questions all about cell phones, the RF radiation that's emitted by cell phones. How do you protect yourself from it? So that's what I'm going to get into uh, and talk about in this video. First thing is you never want to keep a cell phone in a pocket next to your body. Even if you have a cover for your phone that blocks the radiation, um, I don't on this phone because this is just my demonstration phone. It's not the one I actually use. Um, but on my phone I have, if you look on my video, you'll see I did a video on protection cases and, and tested a bunch of them. It just basically blocks one side of the phone. RF radiation can still come around. I'd just rather have a shield there. Some people say, oh, it doesn't really matter because it still comes around. I don't know, makes me feel better. And when I measure it, you know, even from back a ways, it does block some of the radiation. So I figured blocking some of it's better than none. And then I also use harmonizers or neutralizers, um, which I'll put a link below um, this video too. There's um, things that have been scientifically proven. If you put on your phone, um, uh, they will, they chain, there's two different companies that I trust with this regard. And the only reason I say there's only two is because they're the only two that have any science behind their products that they get able to show anybody. And, and I've read through all the science on them and that they make logical sense. And, and uh, they're good enough studies that I, I trust them. And so I'll put a link to both of those below this video. Um, but they're, they're little um, uh, stickers, basically, you can put on your cell phone or you can choose to have like a pendant. And what it does is it just changes the, the uh, man-made uh, radio frequency radiation. Just It still functions as radio frequency radiation, but it changes it to a more natural form that's, a, that's less harmful. Um, so the... I don't use I don't use specifically any one protection like I have my cell phone case cover I don't just have that and then call it good I also have a sticker on there to harmonize or neutralize the change the form of the radiation to more natural plus I keep distance from myself in the phone <laughs> whenever possible I have the phone sitting on on my desk and I and I talk on speakerphone that's my preferred way to communicate on on a cell phone just to keep distance because distance is the is uh, the the even RF radiation it dissipates with distance so the further distance you can keep yourself from from a source of RF radiation the better so I do that too and then if I if I can't do speaker phone they make a thing called um, uh, air tube headsets which you can plug your device in an air tube headset. This is not an air tube headset, um, but they have air tubes from here. They work function kind of like a stethoscope. And when you, when you put them in your ears like this, um, the electricity on your cell phone, when you're talking on your cell phone, obviously there's a real low frequency that's supposed to come up the cord to, to the, to the earpiece and, transmit the sound but RF radiation will grab onto that cord just like it's an antenna and run up there into your ear as well um, and so to block that I use this here which is called a ferrite bead ferrite bead um, it's it's nothing new it's an old technology it kind of acts like a resistor the higher the frequency the better it works and you can actually use two of them on there um, Matter of fact, I used to have two of them on. I don't know why I only have one now, because actually two work better than one um, on there. And I and you double it through, which makes that one kind of like having two on. But anyway, lots of electronic devices like laptop cords and tablet cords and computer cords, um, they have ferrite beads built into the cord to protect the circuit board in in the electronic device from spikes of high frequency, which is exactly what you're trying to protect yourself from when, when, when RF radiation is traveling up the cord. So whenever I'm using it, 
I, I use a corded headset with, with uh, one or two ferrite beads on there. Um, if you have uh, an air tube headset, the idea behind an air tube headset is that it has little speakers here and the electricity, this is just air tube, so there's no electricity going right up into your brain. Um, and so that's probably the safest way to use a headset. But the problem is, is you still have RF radiation coming up the bottom part of the cord um, from the phone, unless you have a ferrite bead on the bottom and, and that electricity would go right into your body, which isn't good either. Um, so, but, but a, a air tube headset with a couple of ferrite beads on the bottom is probably the safest way to use a headset with the cell phone. I just, I've tried all different kinds of air tube headsets and I break them and they're just kind of heavy and bulky and clunky and I just, I don't like them. That's why I normally have two. I just put two ferrite beads on the bottom and I use a corded headset and I don't, and I don't, I don't worry about it because again, 90% of the time, I don't use a headset at all. I just use a speakerphone and set it on my desk because again, distance is, is, the, is the best way to protect. We often use our cell phones as our alarms um, and when we're sleeping at night and the emission that a cell phone, the, the RF radiation that a cell phone emits, just like a smart meter or your Wi-Fi router in your house, those things can interfere with your brain waves and your sleep and make you not be able to, to get as much rest out of your sleep. Plus it's not good for, obviously RF radiation is carcinogenic. It's not good for you. So, um, what I do is I have this little bucket. It's a, it's a metallic mesh bucket that, um, I just set my cell phone in like that. And what I found, and it does have an open top, so radiation can come out, excuse me, but what I found is if, as long as I have it in this bucket and I have it about at least four feet away from where I'm sleeping, and I have it so that the top part of this bucket is higher than my body, so like up on a shelf or something, um, when I get my meter from where I'm sleeping and measure it, I don't pick up any of the radiation coming from my cell phone. And it doesn't, so I know it's not bothering me during during my sleep or, or affecting me at all. So I just love this little bucket. Um, below this video also, I'll put a link to um, where you can get this, if that's something that's interesting to you. Okay, well, I hope that was interesting. I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you in the next video.